Welcome to an introduction to marine charts, part one. A chart is a marine map, helps you find your way on the water. Charts help the mariner do many things from crossing large oceans to entering small harbors. Selecting the proper chart is, is an essential part of safe navigation. <coughs> Charts range from an entire ocean or the world to a single small harbor. A large scale chart equals large details with a small area shown. A small scale chart equals small details with a large area shown. A Port Angeles Harbor chart at 1 to 10,000 is a larger scale than a chart of the Strait of Georgia in the Strait of Juan de Fuca at 1 to 200,000. Caution is required when using any chart or navigation system. The chart you're using might not be up to date. An aid to navigation may have been moved or removed either by accident or on purpose or the water depth might have changed due to local shoaling or other activities or dredging. Charts should be kept up to date using the local notice to mariners. Let's look at San Diego, the Aleutian Islands, and Hawaiian Islands. This is a very wide area, is for offshore navigation only, and there's no details for the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Moving a little more detail to the Gulf of Alaska, Strait of Juan de Fuca to Kodiak Island, still offshore only, no detail is given for the Strait of Juan de Fuca, but we are given a chart number for the Straits of Juan de Fuca. Now the Strait of Georgia, Strait of Juan de Fuca, now showing detail in close to shore and navigation aids are now visible. But there's no detail for Port Angeles. However, we are given a chart number if we want to enter Port Angeles. The Strait of Juan de Fuca, just the eastern part, has more details. It does have some details in Port Angeles and again a chart number is given if we want more detail and we now know that there's uh, about 17 fathoms or about 100 feet of water in the center of Port Angeles. If we look at the Port Angeles Harbor chart itself much more detail including uh, shore objects and information on the marina. So let's go back and look at the Strait of Juan de Fuca, the eastern part of the chart, and take a look at some of the information that's available. We'll start with the title block. We have the chart name, we have the area that's covered, soundings in fathoms, one fathom equals six feet. Remember, fathoms, feet, or meters, we're also given the datum. Some charts will show you the depth scale in the margins, in this case fathoms. The entire chart is seaward of the coal regs demarcation line. And that means that international rules of the road apply to the entire area of the chart. For measuring distance, you can use the scale provided or one nautical mile equals one minute of latitude equals 6,000 feet or 2,000 yards for many calculations. Uh, 6,076 feet is the international treaty for a nautical mile, by the way. Remember, miles for latitude, not longitude. Many people make this mistake. Other charts are shown that we can use the chart numbers if we want more details. This tells when the depths were done and how the depths were done. Some were done pre-1900 with the lead line, and many of the depths were pre-1940. We have tide ranges for, select, for selected points. If you don't have a ch tide chart, this can help you determine how much road or minimum water, because you can know the tide range, so the water could go down that tide range, so you need to have that amount of water under your boat, or if the tide range comes in, the water rises, you need road for the deeper water. We have four compass roses on this chart. You want to use the closest compass rose to where your course is. Sometimes there's significant difference from one compass rose to the other. True North is shown on the outside, has the star on it. The inside is magnetic, which points to the magnetic north. The variation on this chart is about 17 degrees east. 
remember, an aid to navigation by itself does not tell the whole story. A chart is needed to give the proper context to any navigation aid. And never, never, ever use a single point of navigation. And I thank you very much for your interest in boating safety, and I hope this short presentation helped you.